Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. The Time Traveler's Pig. Yeah, I remember the movie The Time Tra Traveler's Wife. You, you remember that film? It's kind of a silly film. I don't remember that one. Though. Okay. I can't say I do. Yeah, I've only it's... ever heard the name of it. I've okay. never watched it or anything. I watched it because my mom was interested in it, and there was some interesting stuff in it. Uh, guy, whenever A guy, whenever he was around too much electrical interference, he time traveled, and it was at random. He had no control over where he went, um, and he kept running into people in certain times who had actually ran into him whenever he did this either before or after mm -hmm. and the, and he interacts with them in some way and one is he meets his wife and he interacts with her a lot throughout mm -hmm. and he always winds up telling you mean he didn't run i mean that's how most people do what they meet their wife back in the past before they met and everything that's when you run well <laughs> the thing is there was one there Okay, y'all have no interest in watching this, so I'll I'll tell you one thing that happened. All right. He met his wife, married his wife, everything was going good. They tried to have a kid. Every time they tried to have a kid, she had a miscarriage. They found out that while the child was pregnant, while she was pregnant with the child, the child would time travel. The, tri the child would time travel, and thus she would have a miscarriage. Hmm. And then all of a sudden, the husband was like, okay, I can never have kids then. So he goes and has a vasectomy. Boom. Everything's Problem done, right? Solved. Nope. Yeah. Instead, she gets a call in the middle of the night. Turns out he teleported again, but it was from in the past before he was before he had his vasectomy, and this was while they were still dating and not married, and they wound up getting together and hooking up with his past self, and she got pregnant and she had a baby. <laughs> oh wow! So yeah, it was actually it it actually had some <laughs> interesting stuff in it. But it wasn't executed very well. Like the the way it was filmed was just weird. I I felt like it it felt more like a TV movie, the way it was filmed hmm. than like an actual film. It didn't have the cinema grade quality. Oh, I had to the it. thirty frames per second look to it. Thirty frames per second plus the way the shots were lined up. You, you know, could tell it was the direct... like a sitcom where they don't really do too much lighting or anything. Yeah, that that was uh, that. And they're not yeah. shot with a shallow depth of field or anything. Mm hmm. Kinda. But it it was an interesting thing. But I wish I, I hope maybe in the future they can revisit it and do something better with it. Yeah. But that being said, though, uh, Gravity Falls, the Time Traveler's Pig, we're introduced to a very pivotal character in this. Uh, you will come to know him as uh, you'll come <laughs> to know him. But I'm I'm not gonna say his name. I'm not gonna give it away. We got the episode queued up here. Let's get it up on screen. Let's give it a watch. You got it rigged from here. That guy, that guy right there, is voiced by Justin Roiland, aka Rick and Morty from Rick and Morty. Hmm. Hell yeah! <laughs> hey, you smell a gallon of body spray? Hey, you didn't oh even God! See Wendy around? <laughs> Who wants to know? Hey, he is such a jerk. Yeah, but he's a jerk with tight pants and a guitar. I need to keep him away from Wendy at all costs. Oh my gosh, I'm so big! <laughs> is she the same character as Gurr? From Vader's End? I think it is. I think it is Katie right. Shaw. I love to do, Pee. I love to do. Ah, oh, 15 poundy. So, how much you guess anyways? 15 pounds? Are you some kind of witch? Well, here's your pig. Oh! I used to have a pet pig. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> it depends on the pig. I mean, if you I mean, get it, like a little pot belly pig, they can actually be really good companions. Yeah, they're fun. They're just hard to house break because they piss gallons at a time. They yeah. They rut you with their nose, so the, they like to push. You take off like barefoot, you put your foot on their nose, and they'll push. And you push back, and they keep pushing. <laughs> but eventually, it gets annoying when you're sitting there, and they put his nose up against you. Because that shit hurts when he rams you. Oh, like, yeah, fuck yeah. It. It'll bru my legs were bruised all the time because of that damn pig. Yeah, they're, my fa one of my favorite <clears throat> uh, pigs ever on the on YouTube was a pig named Carnitas. And he, <laughs> and he was a little hellion. Yeah, they're cute. They're adorable, but they get 
fat, they get big, and they like it's not. Well, that's why I like the little micro pigs. Yeah, like, I don't know what kind of pig was. Uh, it was pink at first when he was a baby. Then he turned black, um, and then well, then he got hairy, and then fat and slobbered everywhere. Yeah, and well, my dog eventually, hated eventually, him. Eventually, like the regular pigs yeah. turned into brood sow. Yeah, oh, and... he was like a brood, all right. He, uh, my dog hated him, and eventually got to where like we had to separate him. So we had to keep the pig outside. We had like. Basically, he could roam in the backyard anywhere he wanted. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, you got to keep them out of the sun, though. They have to have shade and stuff, too, because yeah, they get yeah, sunburned. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Anyway. Panda, <laughs> but I want one. A My platy- taught me the secret to these games. A panda push? the carny's head and take the prize when he's unconscious. <laughs> nice. Oh! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, Wendy, are you okay? Does it look swollen? Whoops. You know, I've been meaning to ask you. We've been spending a lot of time together, and I was wondering if maybe you wanted to go out with me? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Sweet! <laughs> Everything is different now. What are you looking at? Paige and Dr. Waddle, we got a boy here with a broken heart. <laughs> Come on, man. These are the jokes. Don't hit me. I've seen you before. What's your deal? Are you following us around? And why are you full? What's that all about? Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute, if you're from the future, do you have, like, a time machine or something? Can I borrow it? <laughs> Big nope on that one. Come on, can I use your time machine just once? <clears throat> you shut your time mouth! Oh, you don't believe me? <laughs> Guess where I was? One second. <laughs> Blendin' Blendin'. Time anomaly removal crew year 2072. My yeah. mission is to stop guarding with your life. I will watch it like a hawk, dude. Like a hawk. <clears throat> Mabel. See you later. See you earlier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What? If you can guess, the... fifteen pounds. And yes, I am a witch. Time to round up a mob. There you are. Hey, what happened to your hat? No. What? Damn it. Does it look swollen? You wanted to go out with me? Yeah, I guess so. Can't change it, man. Even if you kept it from happening right there, that way, that is exactly the way it would happen, Same anyways. Happened. Ow, my arm. Damn it! You all right? Ow, my arm. Jesus! Oh, okay. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> How badly do you want that stuffed animal thing? More than anything in the world, Dipper. <sighs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> and one and two and a oh. Ah, oh, dude, you missed. Did I? Wait for it. Oh. Oh. You're a stuffed creature of indeterminate species, miss. <laughs> oh, awesome. Hey. Hi, Robbie. Whatever. Can't even tell what species it is. Stupid. <laughs> 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 the drawstrings. You went backward again. Oh crap. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, it's a laser baby again. <laughs> Future seems neat, my ass. I'm coming, Waddle! Hey! 
<laughs> the wax episode. It's actually a neat little tidbit about that right there. But what about Waddle? He was my soulmate. One ball, please. You only get one chance. Yeah. And a one, and a two, and a two. Ow, my arm! Hey, Wendy, are you okay? Lolf Dungren That's great Lolf Dungren Oh. <laughs> Incoming. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. I think Grunkle Stan is drowning. You have broken the eternal laws of space time. What are you looking at? <laughs> and here's the interesting thing about the about that. If you go back and you watch and you see the first episode again, here in the background during the during the gnome fight, when he throws the shovel, stay back, man. Yeah. Holy shit! There he is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your shit, man. They, nope. they the actually wrote time, that ahead of time. The Damn. entire time, he's there in every single one of those. For real, yeah, every that's, every, that's every episode. Insane. I'm gonna be yeah. looking for him now. Like, I know. I'm gonna be looking for I him know. Now. It's one of those things. <laughs> it's they once they point it out, you look for it for the rest of the entire show, and I love that about this show. That's that's really cool. That's. That is awesome. And this is a kid's show, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that's crazy it's a foresight. It's freaking kid's show. That's amazing. <laughs> it's like usually shows like this, like you have different people writing different episodes, so it's impressive that they planned out like ahead for like episodes, <laughs> uh, episode nine to have a character that was like, you know, in all of the other episodes in the background, yeah, or at least several cool. of them. Oh, yeah. It's, it's honestly, dude, it shows you forward thinking in terms of the writing you know thinking ahead because if you plan for stuff and you include that later on and people have a chance to go back and review it and re it's just like the one that's a master class of that is memento the uh christopher nolan movie mm -hmm. you watch it normal the first time and then when you go back and you watch it again then you're actually able to notice the story in its canon form. Nice. And how it's supposed to be the second time through. It's mm. brilliant. It, it, once yeah, I, again, love, I love movies that do that. Uh, there's a few movies that I've seen that do that. Yeah, and but, uh, Christopher Nolan's a master of it, dude. That's why I love watching his movies. But, yeah, that's... Yeah, that was... Uh, that, that's the introduction of Blendon Blandon and the, the, the concept of time travel and everything in this show, which... Comes up, uh, comes up several times later. Uh, Y'all will see it as as the show progresses, but yeah, that's that's a, that was a good episode. Uh, yeah, also, the introduction of the character known and loved Waddles. Uh, good old Waddles. So, so he's actually in these later episodes. Now? Yes, Waddles oh, cool. is very prominent from here on out, hmm. uh, and Waddles is hilarious. Awesome. Hmm. Yeah, he's a pig. He's a cute pig. And he waddles. Spider pig? Yeah. Spider pig. Does whatever a spider, spider pig, pig does. does. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah. Again, everyone, thank you all very much for tuning in. This was uh, Gravity Falls Season 1, Episode 9, The Time Traveler's Pig. Hopefully, we will see you all in the next one. So, until then, I'm Nate. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you then, everybody. Peace out.